do you go about recovering your body when you're feeling a bit fatigued and sore going into a game? What's your favorite recovery methods? Yeah, I've like put a lot of work into my recovery. Um, we actually got an infra- infrared sauna at home, which has been really big. I've been doing that multiple times a week, um, which is, yeah, flushes the body out and it's really good for the muscles. So I do that post game day and also like before a game the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, I also started getting like massages frequently post games just to make sure the body recovers quickly and I'm ready for like a week of training and then feeling fresh for the game as well. What have you done to work on that crap and, and to be able to yeah, really strengthen your weapon? What are some of your, your what focuses when you're at training to improve your agility and your ability to be able to stay on the move? Yeah, ability and just like natural like decision making and that is probably it's very natural. Um kind of done that my whole junior career and then I have a lot of confidence with that. Um and then obviously I've been able to like support that with gym work. Um like me and you we've been doing a bit of that agility stuff and power stuff, lower body stuff recently. Um, yep. And I think, yeah, that just supports it. So you can't just be natural ability that gets you through. And how important is it? You mentioned that that's something that you've, you've had naturally. How important is it to really focus on your strengths? Yeah, that's probably the main thing I did learn coming into Dragons. Um, they stress like the way it kind of is having really good strengths rather than being okay or just good at everything. Um, mm-hmm. so the more like elite strengths that you have and weapons you have, um, the more that will set you apart from the rest of like the cohort, I guess. For those that might be listening to the podcast recording or even live, um, that are going into their draft year, how did you sort of up the stakes in your, in your preseason going into this year to ensure that you're well-prepared and, and resilient from injury, but also that you're going to play your best footy? The season I had stress fractures taught me a lot about my body, um, and also the way to train, like how to train smart. So I learned from that. I probably was, because I got those stress fractures from overload, I probably was doing too much and just trying to do everything that I could. Um, so from that, I learned that the less, the better. Um, and just train train well when you are training. Um, give it your all um, and train smart, like not doing it multiple sessions a day um, and planning well and also focusing on recovery and other little things like Pilates. I've done a lot of that um, since my back injury just to stay on top of like, I guess that extra little bit of strength and um, so yeah, Pilates and then staying consistent was the main thing this year. Um, doing multiple gym sessions, like two upper body, two lower body per week, and then three to four running sessions and also a lot of variety um, to make sure I'm still motivated. Going back into your, your football preparation, um, are there any key areas on game day that you like to do to reset? So maybe the first quarter didn't quite go to plan for the team. And as an individual, you mentioned leadership, um, what are some things that you've that you like to do to reset and refocus and ensure that you, the team as well as yourself individually are going to perform well in the second quarter? Or it could be first half going to third quarter. No, actually, Dave Butterfin taught me a lot about that. Um, if it's not going your way, how to reset mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, whenever I get a chance to just like sink in, like like sink what's happened in um, and process it, I um, yeah try and reset if it's not going my way. Um, and like say like restart there's still time left um, and I can still impact yeah. Um, so yeah that's really helped me especially this year if stuff hasn't gone my way or games haven't gone my way I think I've still still been able to do like a few things that have like shown my talent I guess mm-hmm. um, and then like you said also leadership wise just like getting around others um, making sure they're feeling good they're happy with how they're playing and then yeah I feel like if you put work like if you put effort into others um, it might turn for you.